Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. Today we're going to be focusing on XRP and some of the newest developments and a juicy connection we came across. Firstly, I want to tell you all about our staking. Our staking is a unique platform where you can stake all of these coins and tokens for 25% APR. As you guys can see right here, really just according to my dashboard, you could see that you could just choose each one of these coins or tokens, specifically XRP, and you really just have a minimum of about 10.5 XRP as your minimum stake. Now, when it comes down to any staking platform, you never want to put in more than you're willing to risk. But you guys can see here, have some XRP available. If I were to just put in 100 XRP and then come back in about 30 days, you'll be receiving your rewards back in BUSD or USDT. So after 30 days, I come back and see about 98 cents, 180 days, uh, five about $5. And then if I were to come back on those 100 XRP in a year, I'll be accruing 100 or excuse me, 11 BUSD. Now, the unique thing about this platform is that you can withdraw at any time. So, of course, not your keys, not your crypto, never put in more than you're willing to risk. As you guys can see right here, based on this recent news uh, coming out about Ripple acquiring this Fortress Trust in this cash and equity deal, it's going to be providing financial, uh, regulatory and infrastructure uh, licensing for web three firms doing my digging out here. You can actually see the fortress trust. The CEO, Albert Forkner was actually a part of what's what's called the banking division of Wyoming. You guys can see right here for 22 years, Wyoming division of banking. Now looking into it for ourselves, when it comes down to Wyoming's division of banking, there's these certain things called SPDIs. Those are special purpose depository institutions. They focus on digital assets, digital securities, but these institutions can elect to provide services services for digital assets in accordance with customer instructions, basically making sure that Ripple is providing great customer service. So these institutions can conduct activities under Wyoming's regulations that are tailored to digital assets. Now, these institutions also focus on traditional assets as well. They can serve as a vehicle for business cash management and all of these other purposes under, of course, these regulatory laws. But these banks are fully reserved, meaning these institutions can make loans with customer deposits, even even if they are in fiat. So moving forward here, you guys can see that back in June, they've actually set up Ripple set up in Wyoming, Wyoming. They set up in Wyoming. And as one of these institutions, Ripple will find itself free to buy and sell digital assets, lending digital assets and providing digital asset services. The company says XRP would likely be considered a, a digital security in Wyoming, which is allowed under these rules. By extension, that should mean that ODL services would qualify as digital asset uh, exchange services, as you guys know. Uh, recently, Judge Torres did say that XRP in itself is not a security. So you guys can see even back in 2021, Ripple registered as a Wyoming business. More crypto companies are realizing that Wyoming is a better domicile than Delaware due to our crypto friendly laws. You can see here that Caitlin Long uh, says that more companies realizing this about Wyoming. She's a CEO of a digital bank, Avanti Bank, and is associated with the state's legislature for select committee on blockchain, financial tech, and digital innovation. She's saying the crypto firms like Ripple should consider relocating to Wyoming due to the state not having any corporate or franchise taxes and cryptocurrency is exempt from uh, property and sales taxes. Now to really talk about US politics, really in, in, in frames of Wyoming, you have Loomis and Gillibrand, back in 2022 introduced a landmark legislation to create regulatory frameworks for what digital assets so they've been crypto friendly for quite a while loomis and gillibrand both of these senators have been working for months to craft a bipartisan package that was announced back in march their respective assignments were to lay groundworks for their partnership you have gillibrand as a part of the agriculture committee which has oversight over the CFTC. And then you have Loomis, who's a part of the banking committee, which has oversight over the SEC regulating securities. So you guys can see here that really in, in, Tuned to the new recent uh, work and news that Ripple has acquired this Fortress Trust, you guys can understand that the Ripple president, Monica Long, has said that these licenses are a powerful enabler to build and deliver 
best in class customer experience for enterprises that are using Ripple's crypto infrastructure, XRPL, across the payments and liquidity solutions. As you guys can see right here, it is only a matter of time. So big shout out to all of our XRP holders. You are in the right place. I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. Be sure that you hit the like button, share this thing out and as well. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll holla at you later. Peace.